evening. The Johnny Depp trial is over and the verdict is you've been distracted from what's really going on. And tonight's top hypnotic soul severing stories are Biden's anti-gun speech, Pride Month, Gatorade wants you to be fat, the viewer comment of the week, more stuff about why you should have no right to gun rights, and what has the rage mob raging especially hard, even for them. Stay tuned to find out. As Edward Scissorhands convincingly won the trial in a score of, you're supposed to forget about the Ghislaine Maxwell trial and the fact that we haven't heard even one name named out of Epstein's black book full of names, to nothing. And the internet also points out that Mr. Depp has officially become the first man to ever win an argument with a woman. And in heartwarming news, a group of pedophiles put on a drag show for children in Dallas, Texas. And here you can see a small child stuffing money into the pants of one of the sex offenders. The neon sign on during the show said, it's not gonna lick itself. Huh. I wonder what that means. And Disney's Mickey Mouse has reportedly had a substantial erection since hearing of the sexualization of these children. In an effort to help fight the fitness epidemic that is drastically lengthening lifespans, Gatorade is taking the fitness industry by storm with their new ad for a product that apparently helps you reach your desired levels of obesity. And on with the fear mongering we go. In response to our beloved plan to capitalize off mass shootings to disarm U.S. citizens, President Brandon gave an address about guns where he attempted to read off a teleprompter while being surrounded by heavily armed guards and Secret Service members who were off camera. Take a look. For so many of you at home, I want to be very clear. This is not about taking away anyone's guns. It's about vil not about vilifying gum gun owners. Responsible gum ownership is very important to our nation because we all know how frustrating it can be when you step in gum. Excellent points as always, sir. Following his very strong stance against gum, he then read what someone else wrote for him to say about gun manufacturers' immunity. Take a look. We should repeal the liability shield that often protects gun manufacturers from being sued for the death and destruction caused by their weapons. They're the only industry in this country that has that kind of immunity. Only manufacturer with that kind of immunity? Of course, I can't think of a single other example that we're allowed to talk about. In mixed messaging news, Mr. President also said, I am convinced that a criminal who wants a firearm can get one through illegal, untraceable, unregistered sources with or without gun control. What? Why would he say that? Oh, he said that back in 1985 when he still had his cognitive abilities. Prior to his brain functioning like a pliable pile of Play-Doh that elites with dirt on him can use for their agendas. So I'm sure we should have more faith in what he's told to say now. Nonetheless, Biden courageously pressed on in his battle with a teleprompter when he said this. The Second Amendment, like all other rights, is not absolute. But it's not all fun and games. As the critics point out that for a president that wants to disarm the U.S. population, he sure isn't addressing the possibility that a future administration could become corrupt with an authoritarian agenda and then could easily oppress the now disarmed U.S. population into absolute enslavement as has happened many times throughout history and also is currently happening around the world. That makes these conspiratorial critics who observe reality ask the question, is the current administration the ones doing that? Well, we can confidently tell you, no. That question is rooted in climate denialism. Because if it were true, the Biden administration would probably instruct us to inform you of it. Or we would just continuously scare you with viruses and food shortages so you wouldn't notice that they're doing that right now. In other news, the Daily Wire reports that over the weekend, Biden, who was taking a break from causing national emergencies, was whisked away from a beach house because a plane violated airspace. In response to the incident, Biden said, I didn't know I was at a beach house. On Twitter, Mary Vaught chimed in on the issue of gun control when she pointed out that Joe Biden said, guns are the number one killer of children. Fact check, false. Abortions are. That's right, Mary. Abortions are pretty good at killing children. We're very proud of what we've accomplished there. But criminals sometimes use guns to commit heinous crimes. Indeed they do. 
And we'd also like to extend that logic and point out that rape is a heinous crime committed with a weapon of penises. So we should also be pushing hard to ban those too, along with guns. And if our ban goes through, there is no telling what kind of impact it'll have on women swimming. But just how brilliantly would a ban on guns work in preventing shootings? Well, for an answer to that question, take a look at these statistics. California ranks number one in gun control. And California ranks number one in public shootings. The brightest minds in our country who don't know what a woman is can only conclude one thing. We need more of those same results. We can also consider that the U.S. has the third highest murder rate in the entire world. Yet, if you remove the cities Chicago, Detroit, Washington, D.C., St. Louis, and Philadelphia from the equation, the U.S. would then have the 189th highest murder rate out of 193 countries. And all five of those cities have strict gun control laws and are also controlled by Democrats. And we can only conclude once again, we need more of the same, please. And as the U.S. ranks number one in global antidepressant use per capita, we can use the soundest science fiction to conclude that the U.S. has a gun problem, not a mental health problem. And now we take a break from the propaganda to tell you about something that'll actually help you. Tim Kennedy's book, Scars and Stripes, is out now. If you want to be entertained and inspired by a man who has bled in the name of freedom, you'll like his book. Get it now wherever books are sold. Scars and Stripes by Tim Kennedy. And in Pride Month news, Pride Month is all about diversity, which means surrounding yourself with people who look differently than you, but think exactly the same way. Because we all know that diversity of thought and ideals is an ugly thing that leads to actual diversity. And that's not what we're trying to do here. But Gay pride used to be a beautiful liberal value that seeks equality and respect for the gay community. But now pride has been hijacked by leftism. There's apparently a difference between making sure that gay people have equal rights and are respected as the beautiful people that they are versus pretending biology doesn't exist and that anyone who doesn't think biological males should be competing in women's sports is a transphobic bigot. Accordingly, the Babylon Bee points out that researchers have confirmed that despite attempts to add more genders, there still seems to be just two, plus 767 mental disorders. I don't think there's that many mental disorders. I mean, they've got to be exaggerating. This just in! There's a big difference between supporting kids who think they're trans versus indoctrinating kids to think they're trans. Think about that. In other news, the nation's 463rd best biological male swimmer gave an exclusive interview to our non-binary sister show, Good Morning America, and expressed the goal of one day making the women's Olympic swim team. And here's the same swimmer indicating how many testicles she swims with. And in honor of Pride Month, The Daily Wire has released Matt Walsh's new documentary, What is a Woman? where Walsh seeks to find the answer to the question that we conveniently forgot how to answer, which is, what is a woman? As those of us on the left say the gender binary is nothing more than a social construct rooted in Western colonialism, Matt Walsh went to Africa to speak to tribal people who exist outside of Western colonialism to see if this is true. Can a man become a woman? No. No? No. What about a transgender? Transgender? No. No? It will look like to, if you want to become a lady but you're a man, you have something wrong in something your wrong. mind. Something wrong in your family, something wrong in you. For a man, he has a penis. For a woman, he has a vagina. So we know this is a lady, this is a man. Apparently nobody told these tribal people that they're not supposed to have any knowledge of gender, yet they speak about it as if it's objectively true. And for those of us who worship the narrative, it pisses us off that these black tribal people from Africa would say that. I mean, that must make us racist and xenophobic. I mean, uh, them. And on to the viewer comment of the week. On the guns must be banned now video stars and stripes beat hammer and sickle look it up that's the username pretty cool comments in 
Do not let people who surround themselves with barbed wire and armed soldiers tell you that you cannot own a firearm to defend yourself. Well, we will not stand for the hypocrisy of pointing out hypocrisy. We pledge to censor this viewer from ever commenting in again until their mind reprogramming indoctrination for their protection is complete. Also, Hydron Powers comments in, Brandon, we need gun control in America. Also, Brandon, leaves 300,000 guns in Afghanistan for the Taliban. Yeah, it's all going according to plan, Hydron Powers. Well, and something that definitely doesn't have anything to do with that, we'll leave you with this thought from libertarian Spike Cohen. The US government has been arming Ukraine because they're allies. The US government has been seeking to disarm Russia because they're opponents. In totally unrelated news, the US government seeks to disarm you. Yeah, well, I truly hope the US government is successful in disarming all of its opponents, as that would render all of them defenseless against the government. That's it for tonight's news. There's no purpose to guns, we don't know what a woman is, and we'll get rageful as hell if you even attempt to ask that question. Hey, I think I just thought of the only acceptable use for guns. Once the US government confiscates them all, they could then redistribute the guns to people who want to liberate themselves by shooting their dicks off. Tune in tomorrow so we can teach you how to liberate yourself and degenerate yourself at the same time. Good night.